principle. When Yahshua the Messiah came, he shed his blood. Let me raise the and say, Lord, what is the blood? In the name of Yahweh, the Lord Yahshua. We got this from our words of the Lord. All the lies and hypocrisy. We did not know how much stress and pressure we were under until Yahshua came. No, we are in the light, right? We do not have the city and the And such darkness, such filth, such light. So we have, he has given us rest through the preaching of the gospel. All right, that's enough here. Yeah. So you find out that they did not know what Moses had a knowledge. So when it, the book says that they, they, they didn't see any similarity to the children of Israel, that's where one confirmation to confirm that they did not know he came by vision and revelation. Because Moses had seen him, the same man that Moses saw in the burning bush, when he went over there, he was his minister. That's the, the, uh, Exodus 24, 30. So when Moses rose up, his minister, Yahushua, and look, he took him in the mouth, and he was the one who gave him the real world of the creation. But in Yahushua 24 chapter, <coughs> Yahushua, he says, they didn't see him, they didn't know him. When they went over in Yahushua 24 chapter, Yahushua transfigured and revealed himself to them. Because he started to say to them, Yahushua 24 and 1. Yes. 24 and 1. Yes. And Yahushua gathered all the tribes of Israel to Shechem. He said he gathered all the tribes of Israel to Shechem. And called for the elders of Israel. And called for the elders of Israel. And for their heads. And for their heads. And for their judges. And for their judges. Remember Exodus 24, 9 and 10. He said they went to Moses, Aaron, and Yerevan, and sent them the elders of Israel, and they saw. The Elohim. Did he reveal himself to them? Is they saw the Elohim. But they, they, their vision were cut off and Moses continued in that vision for 40 days and But they didn't see it. They saw it. And they were able to say it was the body of heaven in his clear. Wasn't this five vision and revelation they saw it? And he chose to reveal himself to them. So he is the one. Yes, was the one who did it. So he said, fear not. Let not their heart be troubled. So we have to be choked about anything. He is the one, he is the true being, he is the one in charge. Read. So he now started to tell them, yes. he's revealing to them that. Read. Yahushua 24, verse 1, continue. And yes. for their officers. And for their officers. And they presented themselves before Elohim, or God. So you see them presenting themselves before the Almighty, that's what it says. And Yahushua said so, unto all. And, and Yahushua went out to say unto them, All the people. All the people. Thus said Yahweh Elohim of Israel. But he's speaking like he's not Yahweh, but he was Yahweh Elohim. He's speaking as if he's speaking of another person, but he's speaking of himself. He said, Thus said Yahweh Elohim, because that was the creator in a body. Read. Your father's dwelt on the other side of the flood in old times. And he said, Your father's dwelt on the other side of the flood in old times. Even Tiro. Even Tiro. The father of Abraham. The father of Abraham. The father, Listen up. And the father of Nacho. And the father of Nacho. And they served idols. And they served idols. So when Moses was angry and he saw them, he got angry when he saw them being the holy of God. Because he had not, he didn't get the second part of the religion. But when he went to and saw the chance, Transgression of Adam and Eve, you realize that's it. Oh, that's the way they appear in transgression. We have to transgress. He was able to appreciate it more. Just like we are able to appreciate each time we preach it, us, we are able to appreciate more things. More things. Read. Skipping verses. Yes, there's a quote. And I took your father Abraham from the other side of the flood. So I said, I took your free faster. I took your father from Abraham from the other side of the flood. Verse 4. Yes. And I gave unto Isaac, Jacob, and Esau. Unto 17 and 1. I gave unto Jacob. Unto, I gave unto Isaac, Jacob, and Esau. Jacob, and Esau. And I gave unto Esau, Mount Seir. Mount Seir. Verse 5. Stop right here. You know what you said? I gave unto Abraham, Mount Seir. Finish verse 5, and then I'm going to show you. Oh, to possess it. To possess it. Yaakov and his children went down into Egypt. What is that? Yaakov and his children went down into Egypt. Except for Joshua 24, verse 5. I yes. said Moses also, and Aaron. I said Moses and Aaron. And I played Egypt. I noticed he said, I played Egypt. Read. Verse 6. And I brought your fathers out of Egypt. I brought your fathers out of Egypt. <laughs> just like Yahshua the Messiah brought us out of spiritual and psychological Egypt. This is just a reflection. When the, when the migration to Ireland, they migrated out of that into the kingdom. Just like we migrated out of these lies by 
I'm preaching of the gospel. Yeah. Read fast. The whole show of 24 7. Yes. And then they cried unto Yahweh. They noticed now he said, because Yahshua is the light and in him is no darkness. He said, when they cried unto Yahweh, he put darkness between you and the Egyptians. Notice he stopped saying, I. Yeah. He said, He put darkness. Because Yeshua is light and in him there is no darkness. Right. Amos 5 18 said, The day of Yahweh is darkness and it is not light at all. You see that Yahweh is I actually I He wins to be the light, he wins to be the darkness, he's the all in all. Because Amos 5 verse 18, read that verse on the screen. Amos 5 verse 18. Yes. Woe unto you that desire the day of Yah. Woe unto you that desire the day of Yah. To what end is it for you? For to what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh is darkness. The and day of Yah. Yahweh. What kind of day? He said the day of Yahweh is darkness. And not light. And not light because Yahshua the Messiah is the light. And that's what he said in John 8 and 12. And he said, He came that he may light and enlighten every man. But that who that comes to Yahshua must first believe that he is and is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Then you come to the top knowledge to know. So there are stages to our spiritual self. Just like that's how we have to keep both coming back to class. And some people think they are getting it in one. One visit. No, no, no. Just like all there are stages to your physical development, yeah. there are stages to your spiritual development. And you must be born because nothing is standing still. If you don't see a growth, something is wrong. You are aborted or you are dead. But there is nothing standing stationary in your I said, grow in grace. Grow in the knowledge of our Savior. And the founder said, you must have a test. That Yahshua the Messiah is the resurrected son of Yahweh and is the only Savior. Just have something. All right now. So the other turn in the scripture. Yes, in the book of Matthew. Sir. No, chapter 17, verse 1. Hold on, don't get Matthew 17 here now. So you find out now, Yahweh show up back there. He died at 110. Yes. In, in the same, in Yahweh chapter 10. And it came to pass he after these things that Yahushua the son of Nun, yes. the son of Noah, the servant of Yahweh, died. Being a hundred and ten years old. Being a hundred and ten years old. Thirteen years, years and forty years and forty years. Being a hundred and ten years old. Read faster. Uh, and they buried him in the border of his inheritance. Yes. Timnath Serah. Timna Serah. S E spell it. Yeah. S E R M S E R A H. Yes, S E R A H. Look at the proximity between Sarah and Timna Sarah. You know what? This is another confirmation to food. You remember that Isaac came out of Sarah? When Adam and Eve died in the garden, he said the serpent, he spoke about Ruth in that Eve. So he's going to come to the lines. Sarah, Timna Sarah. That's why he said, No one taken my life from me. I have the power to lay it down. So that was one time he laid it down. In the body of Timna Sarah. Because he was coming back. Sarah, he came back to the lines of Sarah. To Isaac, the promise who was a type of Yeshua. So when he laid down that body, that's why in John 11 verse 25, he said, I am the resurrection and the life. When Martha, he was speaking to Martha back here. He did not say, I will be. I am the resurrection and the life in John 11 verse 25. So when he, the resurrection of that day was when he was born to the lines of the Virgin Miriam. You see the scripture fully in there when he came into the lines of the virgin area. A virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahshua. The same name that he had back here. John 4, that is the same spirit that John saw walking, Moses and John saw walking down the edge and dispensation of time. Even Moses said, Moses wrote in the beginning of my religion, in the beginning of what? Mm -hmm. In the beginning of his vision. Right. So you see him walking down. So it's true. So when you were saying, I did this and I did that, it's true. Yeah. 
Alright, watch out what you did. Matthew 17, 2 continues. Yes, finish. And his yes. face. And his face did shine as the sun. And his face did shine as the sun. And his raiment was white as the light. And his raiment was white as the light, because he is the son of Yahweh. And behold, and behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elijah talking with him. Alright, alright. And they talk about the tabernacle. Because the tabernacle was in Chad back here. Okay, God. So, read, read me down when it's time. So, in numbers. This time. What is that? What is that? Numbers. So, yes, you have a short part for that one in Matthew. Numbers 20, verse 14. He fought for them. And that's why we cannot be non challenged in the gospel. We have to contend for the gospel. Mm -hmm. There's always a fight. So he fought for them. Just Exodus, just three few scriptures I'm going to use. Mm -hmm. Now read 14 now. Number 20, verse 14. When his, his own brother rose up against him back here. And Moses sent, Moses sent messengers from Kadesh. Moses sent messengers from Kadesh. When Yahushua went, went for the children of Israel, he wanted to pass to Edom. The Edomites did not want him to pass. But when you read Genesis, the 25th chapter, it shows that there were brothers. Esau, is it Genesis 22, verse 25, where it talks about the two, the two nations, Esau and Jacob. And one set went down into Egypt. And they were coming out by the death of the land and the resurrection. And they had the brother, the Edomites did not, which was their brother, did not want them to pass through the land. All right, read Genesis, go through scripture. I think it's Genesis 25 and 23. Let All me right, read. Read, read that. And Yahweh said unto her, two yes, nations right. are in thy womb. Two nations are in thy womb. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Yes. And one people shall be stronger than the other. And one shall be stronger than the other. And the elder shall serve the younger. And the elder shall serve the younger. Right. The elder shall serve the younger. Elder. The elder, yes. Correction. Elder. Shall serve the younger. Yes, it is. Yes. And when her day to be delivered were fulfilled, yes. the old, there were twins in her womb. Twins in her womb. And the first came out red. The first came, you see? The Edomites. It came out red. All over like an ear garment. All over like an ear garment. And they called his name Esau. Esau. And after that came his brother home. Yes. And his hand took hold on Esau's ear. And his Esau's ear. And his name was called Jacob. Jacob. All right. Esau and Jacob. Yeah. So Esau is a red nation. Who are the Edomites. All right. Read Mitchell. What were you reading? Yeah. No, oh. verse 20. Verse 40. Yes. And Moses sent messengers from Caleb. Isaiah 24 and 5 now. Read. Unto the king of Edom. Unto the king of Edom. Thus said thy brother Israel. So he's giving him a message now because they want Yahushua was coming out with him and they want him to pass. Don't know it's all the trouble that has befallen. And he's explaining what happened to them. How our fathers went down into Egypt. How oh, sent his soul went down into Egypt. And we have dwelt in Egypt a long time. For 430 years they were in bondage and they want to pass through the land now. And the Egyptians vexed us. And the Egyptians vexed us and overworked them. Read. And when they cried unto Yahweh. So he said, when they cried unto Yahweh, he heard our voice. He heard our voice. And sent an angel. I will send that angel provoking not. Yahweh sure was the angel of Yahweh. Read. And had brought us forth out of Egypt. And had brought us forth out of the land of Egypt. And behold, we are in Kadesh. We are in Kadesh. And sit in the uttermost part of thy body. And sit in the uttermost part of thy body. Numbers 20 verse 17. Yes. Let us pass. I they wanted to, to pass through the land. Through thy country. Through thy country. We will not pass through the field. And he's explaining, we will not pass through your fields. And through the vineyards. And your vineyards. And then we will drink of the water we of the well. We will not drink of the water of the well. We will go by the king's highway. We will go by the king's highway because it's at German Isaiah said that our way. way shall be there. It's only the way of hearing men. Read. We will not turn to the right hand nor to the left. Nor to the left. Until we have passed thy body. Until we have passed thy body. Read. And Edom said unto him, Here is brother, Edom. Thou shalt not pass thy knee. Thou shalt not. What kind of thing? The common they oppose us the same way. The same thing with the Edomites. The enemy of the same of the old soul. He said, You shall not pass by. Lest I come out against thee. 
With the sword. Yes, I come out against thee with the sword. Stop uh -huh. throwing them in the So they drew their sword first. What can you war? They always said, yeah, that's what I war. They don't know who they were dealing with. They are sure they could not kill him. I said, no, man, take it, my life. I have the power to lay down and take it again. They couldn't kill him, that was sure. So you find out that read. What's the word in there? And Isaiah 63, which yeah. is Isaiah 34, verse 5. My sword, now read about his sword. Yeah. For my sword shall be made in heaven. My sword shall be made in heaven. The old, it, the shall, old. it shall come down upon I, I the I It shall come down on the heroes. And upon the people of my curse to judgment. And upon my people stand up with all time. So you know, shall they made him angry? Because there was an opposer. So when you oppose the army, you make the sword. They opposed him, and they made him angry, and that's why he trapped them down in his tomb. Isaiah 63. 63 verse 1 of Isaiah. Yes. He who is this that cometh from Edom? Who is this that cometh from Edom? So Isaiah seen him 700 years before. With, with that because power. he had to kill two kings on this side of Edom, of, 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 of Jordan, and 31 over this side, making a total of 33 kings. I remember Yeshua died at 33. No, he says, Isaiah seen him 700 years before. Who is this that cometh from Edom? Then Yeshua, he said, who is this that cometh from Edom? With that garment from Bosra. With that garment from Bosra, because he had to sue those Edomites <laughs> who opposed him. We're not going to run from them. They came out with the sword. This, that is glorious in his accurate. He's the resurrected son of Yahweh, Yeshua, in all his glory. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. So just like we learned, we were run through yesterday, he lose any strength. That was a creator of nobody. Traveling in the greatness of his glory. I that speak in righteousness. I that speak in righteousness. Mighty to save. Mighty, you see? So he was saving Israel. That's it. The Israelite, mighty to save. So he fought for them. So he come and said, you know, we don't do anything. You know? We don't do anything. You know? No big thing. It's a lie. Mm -hmm. And when Yeshua came, he slew them with the sword of his mouth. But finish that quickly. That Isaiah day. 63, verse 2. Yes. Whither for art thou red in thy apparel? Why are you red in your apparel? And thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine. Like and thy garments red like him that treadeth in the wine. I have trodden the wine press alone. He said, yeah, that's why you have encephalon, dicephalon. He said, he, he, the question was asked in Revelation, who be over? And he said, there was no man from glory in heaven. And of the people there was none with And of the people there was none. Oh, so no tread. one can help you out. Well, no I one tread. can help you I tread them in my hand. He said he tread the Edomites in his hand. And trampled them in my fuel. And he trampled them in his fuel. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon and my garments. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon his garments. And I will stay in all my reign. And he has stayed there. That's why he had to decapitate these two kings. And that's why we decapitate. And For the sword. day of vengeance is in my heart. I let the fruits of the earth and try them out from before us. Those demon spirits died. Even the word of Yahweh, when Joshua the Christian came, he was preaching his own gospel. John said he looked at his son, he just cried the legs of heaven with everlasting gospel to preach to him that made on the earth. And he was preaching his own gospel. Then, by the resurrection, I said, John, no one was speaking about the name of Yahweh. The sword, get me evil, where it says, 4 and 12. Four and 12. And then Colossians are. He said, the sword of Yahweh is the word of Yahweh. When you take away the S, you get the word. You see? And then we have the living word and the written word and the spoken word. And we are talking about the living word of Yahweh. That's why we have to preach the gospel of that. We're not running from this. Because Yahshua is resurrected. And in Matthew 28, he said, Go in here for and teach our nation, baptizing in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teaching them to observe all things. And he said, All power is given unto him in heaven and in earth. That's what he said to you. All power is given. Read that and it's Back in the book problem. of Hebrew. Yes. Chapter 4, verse 12. Yes. For the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful. Yes. And, and sharper than any two edged sword. When you're speaking the word, you see, the, 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 the disciples say, You have the word of eternal life. And these are the words of eternal life, the word of Yahshua the Messiah. The word of Yahweh is quick, and he's, he is the quickening spirit. Yeah. Remember, he, 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 he resurrected the quickening spirit. So 
So he's a quickness, because that's why a man can't come in class and just get it like that. When you go to near a church, you have to tarry for long to get down about maybe you know, the Holy Spirit. Dr. Mitchell and Dr. Terry Mitchell was talking about that Holy. Full of holes and lies. You have to tarry all long. You can just come and get the resurrection right away. It pretty goes to be preaching the true meaning. And I think that. Piercing even even the dividing and soul and, and spirit and soul and of the joints and, and marrow and, 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 and of the marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and, and a discerner of the heart. So it's that is Yahshua and intake of the heart. Colossians one twenty six. Verse twenty six. Yes. So even the mystery, even the mystery which had been hid from ages, yes, and from generation and from generation, but now but it's now, made manifest to his son. Manifest by the preaching of his death, burial, resurrection, ascension, Lord, Lord, and Spirit, Father, in the name of God. To whom Yahweh would make known. To whom Yahweh would make known. What is the riches of the glory of this mystery of the nation? Yes. Who is? Yahshua the Messiah in you, the Lord right, of here. glory. Yahshua the Messiah in us, who manifested himself and in our faith, in our hearts, to go the over of glorification, to whom we are preaching, we don't preach not our faith. We preach a resurrection of Yahshua the Messiah. All praise is good to Yahweh, everyone is so Yahshua the Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.